In this video, we're going to talk about the mutate menu. All right. So this is the mutate menu. Um, you may recall in previous videos, I uh, used this once or twice to just mute a channel, which is kind of useful. Um, you'll see here that if you hold down mutate and just hit a channel, it'll become gray, which adds a little performance performancey, jammable aspect to Assimilator. If you've got a bunch of channels going, you can mute and unmute channels and let them out during a performance. But um, there you go. But uh, there's a lot more going on here. So let's get into the mutate menu. Um, first, just to tell you what we're listening to here, um, I set up a zone uh, on channel one being randomly triggered. And there's just three little kick drums in there. All right. So into the mutate menu. Um, first, let's just hear uh, what these three sound like just being randomly triggered. All right. This is a, a Euclidean pattern coming once again from Euclidean circles. All right. All right. Something I, I like doing um, most of the time when I've got a bunch of drum samples playing like this um, in one shot mode is that I'll turn smoothing on. And, um, you know, sometimes you can hear a difference, sometimes you can't. But um, what that does is when samples um, are in one shot mode, often they're triggered again before they've finished playing out. And smoothing um, helps a few things. Anyway, that's one of them. All right. So um, smoothing is not CVable and neither is reverse, um, but they're both kind of clear to what they do. This is reverse. As you might imagine. So let's start with bit depth because this is a fun one. Um, you know, we've all heard about cool 8 bit drums, how they sound all crunchy and awesome. Okay, that's true. Um, and I would just warn you um, <laughs> that going under 8 bits um, can be a little dicey on your speakers or headphones. So I'm, I'm not going to demo that for you here and tell you to run for cover for your volume knob. But I'll just warn you that under under uh, under eight bits is often a little a little dodgy. Um, I'd like to CV bit depth so we can hear it kind of animate. So let's send bit depth to to one A. All right. So I'm going to send some CV to here. And I'm going to come from voltage block, um, where I've got some random CV coming in right now. All right. So we're not going to hear this right now because we're already at 32 bit. And I'd like to hear it go down, you know, a little bit. So first things first is I'm going to bring this down to about half, halfway down. So 16 bit. All right. And then if we want this to go downwards, we need to use this CV in negative values. You can see it start to grab like right around 70. And I've learned from doing this before that even if I go all the way to minus 100, if my middle point is 16, it won't take it all the way down to one bit and ruin your speakers. So 16 bit, the center, and then about minus 80 gives you some good animation. And the hits coming from voltage block aren't necessarily at the same time as my gates and triggers, so there's some cool overlap and randomness, which happens. All right, so the other thing, which is here, that's really, really... So the other amazing thing that's built into the mutate menu that Dave Rossum has built in with his, with his genius is aliasing. So, so you've probably noticed during this series that the pitch shifting abilities of the assimilator are unbelievable. And you're able to pitch down a huge range and up a huge range without any any artifacts. So the aliasing control lets you 
disable that technology. Um, so you can introduce aliasing if that's your kind of thing. All right, so let's get this loop going again, and uh, I'll show you how it works. Incidentally, if you don't have your sample pitched down or up, um, aliasing doesn't do anything. So first things first is let's take pitch, and let's pitch our little drum sequence, drum zones, down one whole octave. So you'll be able to hear uh, some of the aliasing being added added back in. All right, so this is what, back to mutate. So this is what it sounds like um, playing one octave down now. The pitch shift sounds great now. Or sorry, the, the bit depth uh, CV sounds really great now. Okay, so let's uh, let's start introducing some aliasing now. There it comes in. So it takes a little bit to start coming in, all the way up to 95. And obviously, if I pitch this lower, this aliasing would have more of an effect. I probably wouldn't be able to be at 95 and have it be listenable. And of course, just like everything else with a simulator, it's CVable. All right, and that is the mutate menu. See you in the next video.